Shalom, all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect Bashim Rakakwadash. My name is Yakabo from Plain Tables Camp, and this Khazar J uh, Gaza situation is farther proven who the wicked are. All right, and then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and destroy with the brightness of his coming. It says, For the mystery of iniquity doth already work, and that's Esau. So those uh Khazars are of the family, you know, they're brothers with the with the Russians, they're brothers with the Ukrainians, they're brothers with the with the uh the, the Edomite British and the Americans and the different European powers. They're all related. Different families, same same uh gene. Right. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work, only he who now let will let until he be taken out of the way. Right. And he's going to be taken out of the way by the brightness of the, of the Lord's coming. All right. Now, the contrast is, you know, Satan always proclaims to be, you know, pious and not righteous and merciful and but in action, that's in word, but in action, they, they bring call fire from, from the sky, from heaven, and destroy the enemies. That's, that's their real, actual character. That's who they really are. All right? And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish. All right? Now we look up... Uh, The U.S. is proposing to, to make sure a humanitarian corridor is maintained. We got uh, here, it says, Iranian uh, foreign minister warns of direct consequences of the Khazar J's Gaza strikes. That's October 15th today, it says, Iran's foreign minister Hussein Amir Abdulhalian has warned about the dire consequences of the Khazar's relentless bombardment of the besieged Gaza Strip. Gaza Strip. So who who knows I what what the what are the consequences? Because they don't say directly. They're not going to reveal their hand. They might impose some kind of uh, oil. They might reserve some of their oil back in case the Khazars can continue attacking the defenseless people of Gaza. There will be no more guarantee that the situation will come under control and the conflict would not spill over. Amir said in a meeting with Qatar Amir on Sunday. Those who do not favor the expansion of the current war, the Iranian minister said, must stop the Khazar's savagery. All right, so they've been threatening a spillover. Now, it's not being uh, specific, obviously, for obvious reasons. You don't want to give away your hand. So they they may join up in some way. The Because uh, they're all embrace the same faith. All right. Or at least they know that if they allow this to happen there, it could happen at other places. So they gotta they wanna contain those um the Zionist apartheid apartheid uh regime. It says there it says uh, the the Iranian or Iranian minister urged Muslim countries to work for an end to the war crimes committed by the apartheid regime Zionist regime says a political system of segregation or discrimination on groups of race on grounds of race uh, he re reiterated the importance of emergency meetings of the organization of islamic cooperation oic under the current circumstances yeah cause they're all have this, a similar culture even though they're different people like iran and Ishmael or the Arabs it says uh, on 
for his part, the Qatari Amir Emer expressed concern about the humanitarian situation in Gaza and said Qatar's stance on the Palestinian issue would never change as it prioritizes an end to the crimes of the Khazars in the besieged enclave. All right. So they're pretty much in a, a concentration camp and it's bringing their unity their because they have this similar faith so that unity could come together at a certain time period. Now, we still have one major prophecy at least, which is the uh, Revelation 13, 15 on down. And to be implemented before a third world's war can take place, you knowing it's full you no know, power. And right, before the Iranians and the Russians can get involved, I can believe that's the Ezekiel 38th chapter. Let me, uh, Easy 38. Son of Man says, Face against Gog, the land of Gog. I go down to the 38th verse, 34 first, uh, 38 and 4. And I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and will bring thee forth and all thine army, horses and horsemen, and all clothes, all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. Persia. Ethiopia, Libya, with them, all of them with shields and helmet. Gomer and all the bands of the house of Torgama in the north quarters and all his bands and many people with thee. I believe Gomer is talking about Turkey. All right. So you have in the news Persia, which is Iran. All right. And different uh, Islamic countries of the of same faith they're looking at the, those Khazar Jays as you know the Satan Satan incarnate and they know that and they're getting together they're, they're talking they're calling meetings right? because the third world's war is about to happen very soon you go to uh, Isaiah not Isaiah Revelation 7 after these, after these, I saw four angels standing on the top of the corners of the earth, four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor the sea, or any tree. And I saw another angel uh, ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. So they have to, uh, the elect prophets have to be sealed first. All right, and then you have to have the implant implemented. All right. Before that wind can blow on the earth, was that, that, that's the nuclear fire, the destruction. All right. And it says... October 7th, the residents, resi the Palestinian resistance movement, Hamas, launched multi pronged strikes on the Khazars and penetrated deep into the territories occupied by the regime uh, for decades. Uh, Operation Al Aqasa storm took uh, Israelis by storm. That was no damn uh, by surprise. That was, I believe it was, they just stood down. It was a response to the regime's current uh, desecration desecration of Al Qasa Mosque and dedicated long atrocities against the Palestinians. All right, what else have we got? It says, as Gaza's death toll rises, bodies are stored in ice cream trucks. It says, um, the Khazars will face another blow if it launches ground invasion of uh, Gaza, Hamas official. So it, it, it may escalate. If they, uh, they said they uh, postponed the ground invasion because of a storm. 
or weather conditions. So let's see. Let's see what happens. Exclusive a family of 150 members in Gaza without water st staring at death. Actually, a liberal narrative of Palestinian resistance against Zionist occupation, where they believe that the land belongs to them and they're going to take the whole uh, area. They really believe from the Nile River to the River of Euphrates. More countries join pro Palestinian rallies to condemn. The Khazar savagery in Gaza. Day 9, Israeli airstrikes kill over 400 Palestinians in 24 hours. U.S. sending another aircraft carrier to Mediterranean to back Khazar's onslaught on Gaza. All right. Advisor to Netanyahu's wife calls for torture of Gazians to death as war on Gaza rages. Yep. So. There's more evidence. That. They don't really mean. What they say when they say they're. Uh, and they tell you. Well all the wars. You know Iraq. Afghanistan. They. They're really not about. They said over like one million. Iraqis died during that war. Iraqi freedom, Operation Iraqi freedom, or whatever, all the operations they had, right, and they did that under uh, NATO. Even sometimes it wasn't, uh, didn't, you just didn't see NATO. Or right, they operated to get work together. European powers and America worked together, and they uh, commenced the war on terror. All right. So eventually, it's going to lead to Gog and Magog, which represent the. Uh, Edomite Russians are going to team up with these uh, East and African countries or land of ham countries and they're going to engage in the third world's war in the land barren and desolate right, which is around Saudi Arabia that area right there in, uh, in so called Middle East alright so let's see what Iran and uh, Qatar and those different countries around uh, Saudi Arabia are going to do to protect their brothers that are getting slaughtered in in Gaza. All right, we'll see. All right, well, we know it's prophecy. All right, those winds are being held back until prophecy commences. Esau is going to show you more and more that he's a devil, and this also shows the capabilities of uh, Esau. All right. What and what he's willing to do, all right, and I mean, in the in the guise of under the uh, you know the the um, the guise of order and revenge. All right, so hope you're edified. Shalom.